Hey guys, it's Camille, Director of Agronomy at Mutiny Crop Performance. I'm sitting next to a tote of Mutiny Liquid Litter. Now that I've been here about a year, I want to talk to you about Mutiny Liquid Litter at a deeper level. What my goal this year was to take Mutiny Liquid Litter to the farm and let the growers use it in a way that best suited them, whether it's in furrow, two by two, or even foliar applications. We wanted to do side by sides, so we've done this across the country. We kept up with it all the season long. So we've got tissue sample data, we've got pictures, and soon we're gonna have yield data to back up the story that we saw across the country. So I wanna talk a little bit more about these side-by-sides because we see the comments on social media. You know, you put liquid litter next to nothing, of course it's gonna look better. Well, I wanna address the elephant in the room. A lot of growers are still not running in furrow. So we are trying to get guys to really dial in, especially for 2026. Dry fertilizer's high, we know that. How can we be more profitable and get more nutrient into the plant. We're seeing it across the country with liquid litter, so I want to show you some data. You guys have asked for the data. We listened. What I've done so far is compile all the tissue sample data with all these side-by-sides into a big presentation. So I want to go through some of that data with you right now. So what you're seeing here, this is in Southern Illinois, liquid litter versus the grower standard. We've got three different tissue sample timings. We did a V2 to V4, V5 to V10, and a tassel tissue sample and what you're seeing here is every single nutrient listed on that tissue sample we saw a percentage increase every single time versus the grower standard so the grower standard here was a standard pop-up paired with an insecticide the guy had been running it for years he wanted to compare it to mutiny's liquid litter paired with a gallon of moat that's a really commonality for us we like to pair liquid litter with a carbon source so this trial is exciting i can't wait to see the yield data let's go to the next one here we're in Southern Indiana. Mutiny's program here was four gallons of Mutiny liquid litter paired with Chaos P. This is an enzyme-based phosphorus product. The grower standard here was nothing because he runs nothing. So the ear you're seeing at the top right-hand corner of the screen was really impressive. The tissue sample data though is just as equally impressive. V2 to V4, we saw a solid increase across the board. And then again at tassel timing, we're still seeing that increase. So what we see early, we want it to carry throughout the season. And sometimes we have limiting factors such as weather that's really gonna pull that down, but here it's holding pretty strong. On to the next one. We're in Kentucky. We've got Mutiny Liquid Litter, again paired with Moat. And here the guy ran a full Mutiny program versus a competitor standard. So these guys are big NCGA guys. They're running everything under the sun. I'm so impressed with what I've seen here. We've got liquid litter and furrow again, paired with a gallon of moat. And all season long, we showed out that phosphorus number that you see on the screen, three different tissue sample timings. We had a higher percentage in the plant, which is what matters. If you don't get it into the plant, it doesn't matter. All right, moving on. We've got another one. This is down in central Kentucky. Mutiny's program again versus the grower standard. And here the grower standard, this guy's another high yield guy. So he's running a lot of different products from multiple companies. He wanted to see how Mutiny held up. We've got two different timings here where we see phosphorus increase, potassium increase. We've been seeing this across the board. Not only phosphorus getting into the plant from liquid litter, but we're also getting an increase in potassium, which those two nutrients are huge. Here we also see an increase in nitrogen use efficiency, which is a big deal. 2026, we're gonna be short on cash. We've gotta make every dollar count. If we can be more efficient on our nitrogen, that's a win. All right, let's go to this is in Michigan. So we've moved across the country now. Um, we wanted to compare here the Mutiny program versus the Untreated. Again, with liquid litter in furrow. We really like with liquid litter in furrow. And here we compared the number of limiting nutrients compared to the Untreated. So with the Treated, we had two most limiting factors. In the Untreated, we had four limiting factors. So we are really moving that needle even up in Michigan. This one's down in Louisiana. So in Louisiana, this is some grower submitted pictures. When we compare the ear weights, we're over 100 grams heavier per ear, and we're gonna get the yield data to back this up. But these ear weights are very impressive. If you're unaware, 2026 is gonna be tight. And it's hard to spend money when you don't have money. So my goal with Mutiny Liquid Litter 
is to help you spend those dollars more efficiently because you have to spend money to make a crop. So based on the data that we've seen, we in a lot of cases can help you reduce your dry fertilizer spend by up to 50%. That's huge. If you start budgeting, looking at dry fertilizer, it's hard to stay in the green. And so my goal is to help you produce a good crop more efficiently and it's not always spending more dollars to get that job done. So what I want you to do is consider using liquid litter on your farm to get more phosphorus, more potassium, better nitrogen use efficiency in 2026 while spending less money. So consider reaching out to us. Go to our website, mutinyag.com. Reach out to us on social media. Give us a follow because our goal for 2026 is to help you succeed and be around for 2027.